Good morning and hello. Happy Thursday. It's time to have another painting, drawing, artwork kind of a piece for this challenge here. Today I'm taking a background that my dear friend Tina made for me and I try to see a pattern there or be inspired by the colors and stuff and uh, try to make a piece of art, like complete it. Uh, there's other weeks where I do other um, like challenges on, on this series. There's, for example, me taking a random word generator and then going rather with a word than with a, with a visual inspiration item like a background. Or I try to rework something that I did earlier in my life and see how I progressed, what I learned in doing artwork. But today, <clears throat> excuse my voice, Ooh. today we're having this background here. Now, with other backgrounds that are maybe a bit more abstract or um, that I can't see anything right away uh, that would tell me real life, I might rotate the painting and see what I can do with the patterns that I see. But this one here screams uh, breakfast egg sunny side up to me. <laughs> There's this yellow blob in the middle and this bluish white uh, around that I think is an egg. It's, it's a sunny side up egg. Uh, so I think I would go for, with that and see what I could do with um, that idea. So the background was done with watercolors and you can see how it came together now. do something with it and since it's the last week for April I will use pastel and uh, charcoal like pastel chalk not oil pastels per se 
So yeah, um, assuming, and I'm just going to roll with it, that I go with a, a breakfast egg sunny side up. What I would definitely do is extend the egg yolk. Um, there's way more white here and then it goes into the blue. So I would probably extend the egg yolk to about that width. So pretty much cover the whole white part of um, of that section here and have it all be a very um, yummy and very yellow and sunny and lovely kind of an egg yolk and then have maybe shading or texture around uh, the egg white be a bit defined. So for example if you make um, an egg in a pan sunny side up it might be that the edges get burned a bit or they're crispy and brown so I guess I would add that and then I would need a gimmick or something that um, gives the painting a bit of oomph I think um, would I just enhance what's here it might be a bit boring uh, when it comes to well you could have this painting in your kitchen all's good all's fine but to me personally I do like to add a few or a tiny tiny gimmick somewhere in these kinds of paintings and I'm just wondering what I would add I could maybe I don't know have a fly or a ladybug that's sitting next to the egg because the green background to me says either a green plate or grass which would it be I guess I wouldn't work a lot on the background I do like this washy kind of green. I think it makes a nice contrast to the egg once I'm done with uh, defining details and stuff. But maybe... Hmm. Yeah, maybe have a ladybug or a fly or something I don't know what to put next to it yet but some tiny tiny animal or one of my stick figures that does something uh, in very many paintings I do have um, a realistic kind of looking main painting and then there's a tiny stick figure in there that does something goofy goofy like I don't know swimming or um, climbing clouds or whatever so maybe I incorporate something like this but I guess I would have to see the completed main drawing first and then I could decide what I would put in and um, what pose I would give that animal or stick figure I, I'm, I'm not sure yet so I'm just gonna go now and um, go for refining, defining contrast, extending the egg yolk and just completing the main painting and then I will decide what I, what gimmick I will put in. You can watch along, I will come back to you after that and tell you, for example, why I chose what gimmick in the end. So stay tuned, i see you in a sec. Now, 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 now
There it is, this is sunny side up. So, uh, once I had the egg pretty much defined and uh, added a bit more contrast and kind of a crispy uh, edge, I decided to have a shading gradient kind of a thing going on underneath here because I thought, well, the light is obviously coming from the upper left hand side on the egg yolk here you can see that the light hits it so uh, shading or shadows would be on the lower right hand side and uh, so I just added a tiny bit of a shadow thinking uh, maybe um, you have a bit on the dip of the plate where the egg lays on you have a shadow or whatever so then I was done and I thought mm, now what am I gonna do with the gimmick I First thought maybe with this um, bubble of the egg white here, I would uh, do something with that and uh, have maybe something crawl out of it, but then again it's kind of yucky, so I shied away from that. But I thought, um, looking into the upper camera screen, uh, it looked like the egg was tilted, like it would sit on an easel. And uh, that was all it took for me to put this tiny stick figure of a painter in there because he's standing on his big letter and painting parts of the egg. So, mm -hmm. 
Yeah. <laughs> That's, it, it makes me giggle. I like it. Uh, so this piece was rather simple, very, very um, easy to make. Uh, I only used, let me see, uh, that's five colors, that's the same as that, that is the same as that. So it's five, six, seven, eight colors. That's all that uh, I used and that includes black and white. I did use a grey as well, two shades of brown, um, a warm, two warm yellows and an orangey kind of a color to um, enhance shading. But this was the, the piece that I worked with was so far advanced that it was really simple just to enhance and define whatever was um, on the um, paper in that case. So yeah, I'm just gonna um, put some fixative spray on top now so uh, that the pastel chalk stays where it's supposed to stay. And uh, then I will call it a day on this tiny painting here. I hope you enjoyed watching along. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them in the comment section below. If you want me to paint something on one of your backgrounds, um, contact me at info at pinselgeschichten.de. We can figure out how to get that piece of paper or cardboard or whatever you decide to pro uh, produce a background on to my house. And uh, then I will do a painting on it, send the painting completed and ready back to you. And uh, give you a social media shout out as well if you like that. So uh, I hope you have a wonderful day and you... Um, maybe, well, I don't want to say learned, but uh, saw that even with the simplest uh, pieces of paper where you tried maybe a new product and you just had shapes, you can make a full-blown, probably funny and not very <laughs> sophisticated, but a tiny little painting with it or a drawing. So uh, don't throw that stuff away. Keep it and try to see patterns in uh, the way you put down colors, maybe. So, again, thank you very much for watching. I will see you tomorrow with uh, the last pastel and uh, charcoal kind of a drawing for a while. I will move on to inks in May and um, I'm very excited about that. <laughs> so, do other good YouTube stuff and have a wonderful wonderful day. Thanks for watching. Bye.